Hi, it's Chrissy. Nice to see ya. I am going to be doing a review today on the donut burger. I found out, saw on a window, I guess, that there is a place where I live, you know, near where I live, that um, ha makes what is called a donut burger. And I thought that sounded interesting. And I've long wanted to have a hobby of trying new foods slash restaurants every week. We finally started doing it and I thought that it would be neat to also include that in my videos. So here we go. The place that makes the donut burger is called 101 Donuts and Burgers. And hopefully I'm inserting a little clip right now of um, the front of the little restaurant there because I did take video of that. So hopefully that's now. Okay. This has been quite the ordeal, unfortunately. Every single time we have tried to go to this place, they have been either closed or closing. It's been incredibly frustrating. First of all, when we decided to do this, we went there and they were closed. On the door, it said that um, like Monday through Friday, they were open from like 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then it said that on the weekends, they were open from like 6 a.m. to noon or something like that. I don't remember when they opened, but they were open till noon. And then online, it said the same thing. Monday through Friday, 5 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, noon. And the day that we had set up to try new things was on Sunday. So that meant that we would have to get it at noon. Now to us, this really seemed more like a dinner thing. And so neither of us wanted to try a donut burger at noon. And plus that's even early for lunch for us because um, typically our schedule is that we eat lunch at one. So we're like, oh my goodness, this really isn't going to work for us. We have been trying for weeks to like get there at noon on Sundays and that wasn't working out. You know, it was just too early and we have stuff going on and like my mornings are usually pretty busy. Um, I don't feel good in the mornings. You know, I wake up really stiff and stuff. So getting there before noon was kind of an issue on the weekends because you know, I am stiff in the mornings and it's hard to get going. Anyways, eventually after like weeks of trying to do this and failing, we decide we're going to just do it on a weekday. When we finally were able to go, they weren't open, even though it was before five. We go again, they're not open, even though it's before five. Then finally we made plans to do this yesterday and we decide we're gonna go ahead and have liner, which is what we call it when we skip lunch and then eat a, like an early dinner instead because, you know, we're both kind of workaholics and so we're always busy until late and sometimes we will just skip lunch and work right through it because we're crazy. So we decided we were going to do that on purpose and that way I could like do my makeup and my hair and everything and wouldn't look like this on camera because I'm not liking the way I look right now. Yes, I've appeared on camera without makeup in the beginning of videos and stuff, but I mean, I would have preferred to wear makeup, you know. We get all ready yesterday and we go down there and it's, it's just before two o'clock. Ryan, my husband goes in and orders a donut burger and the lady says, oh no, um, they're getting ready to close and that she already cleaned the grill. So all they're selling is donuts. They're not making burgers or whatever. And it's like, are you, are you kidding me? You're open till five. What do you mean you're closing at two? Like that doesn't make any sense. And we were really frustrated. So we decided to come back today, but we didn't know when to go because we didn't know when they were opened or closed because like I said, the door said five, it said five online. I don't know if they've changed the door or not because yesterday the door was open so I couldn't see it. And when Ryan walked in, he didn't look at it. And then today I told him to look at the door, but he forgot. <laughs> so I don't know if they've changed it on the door, but I know that the door did say five o'clock before because I had read it myself. We're getting ready to do lunch like we normally do at one o'clock. And then it's like, oh wait, we were supposed to go get the donut burger today because we couldn't get it yesterday, which was very frustrating. Oh my goodness. 
So we run out the door with me looking like a hot mess and we run down there and luckily they were finally open. But she says that normally they make the donut burgers with glazed donuts and she doesn't have any glazed donuts. So what donuts do we want instead? We decided to go with the sugar donuts. So we got it with sugar donuts and we finally got to try it but I'm a hot mess so you know there you go so anyway let me get to the review part of this hopefully I have or will insert the clip of me trying it out for the first time and giving my first impressions and first thoughts on the donut burger so hopefully that's now I don't know magic hopefully I don't know today I'm gonna be trying out new food and um I got the not-so-famous donut burger from 101 Donuts and Burgers. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste this and give my first impressions and then I'll come back later and do the full review. Sorry, I look like a hot mess. Um, I'll explain that more in the review. So I've got the burger and the fries and some ketchup. The burger's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. It's the donuts kind of smush, but this is the donut burger. It's got half of a donut on top, half the donut on the bottom as the buns. It's got a burger. It's got bacon. It's got cheese. They usually use glazed burgers, but there's sugar this time. I'll explain that more later. So I guess I'll just go ahead and take a bite and get sugar all over myself. <laughs> it's really hot, so I'm like afraid. Wait, before you eat, you said glazed burgers. She's probably do that. Oh, so I mean, it's sugar donuts on the buns, but it's usually glazed donuts, not burgers. Yeah, anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take a bite and see what happens. What happens? first it just tasted like a regular burger all I tasted was the bacon and the burger which is good that's good and then it had like a really sweet aftertaste like it, at first I couldn't taste the donut but then like after a second or two then I did I feel like I have sugar everywhere but so it's like burger then donut I don't know it's really weird it's weird but not bad it's like a good weird but weird I'm going to finish eating and then I'll be back with my full review and thoughts and all that. All right. See you in a minute, in a bit. Anyway, the donut burger was really good, actually. Uh, Ryan and I each had one and then the kids went ahead and each took a bite too. So we all tried it. We all thought it tasted very unusual, but very good. Um, it wasn't unusual bad. It was just weird, but we all liked it. You know, a thick, juicy you know real meat hamburger like not the crap that you would get at like McDonald's or something um, it had bacon it had cheese and then they took a donut sliced it in half and toasted it on the grill so so then you had like the toasted donut bun we went with sugar because we thought it would be the closest to glazed but we got sugar everywhere and that was kind of sucky but the way that it tasted to me is like I took a bite and I tasted the burger and then the sugar um, and so it was like a burger with, you know, like a good burger, not a bad burger, like a really good burger, and then like the aftertaste of sweet. So, I mean, it was really interesting and it was fun to eat. Oddly, Ryan tasted it the opposite way. Like he tasted the donut first and then the burger, but everyone agreed. This is an awesome burger. It's great. This is a cool idea. It's fun to try. It's awesome. Would I recommend eating a donut burger? Hell yeah. But there's more to the review. So, the um, the restaurant that makes these donut burgers, 101 Donuts and Burgers, that's their name. It's a small little restaurant. And it's not like 
that fancy looking on the inside but you know it just looks like a small little cafe type thing it's kind of cute they have really good donuts there by the way hopefully i'm inserting a picture of that now of um some of the donuts that they make um i've had donuts from there before they're really good i especially love their blueberry donuts so i mean if anyone's ever in the area and they want a blueberry donut 101 Donuts and Burgers makes great blueberry donuts. They also have this cool tree painted on the wall and they encourage customers to write something on a leaf and then put that there so that you can say that you visited there and like, I don't know, say something, whatever. Um, so that's kind of a cute little thing. So the restaurants, it, it looks all right. The people that work there are friendly. Uh, we've never met anyone who was rude or anything like that, so that's a good thing. However, the hours are ridiculous. Just ridiculous. I don't know how you can run a business like that. First of all, 6 a.m. to noon and 6 a.m. to 2 are awful hours when you're serving something like burgers. I don't know. I just, I think that you need more hours there. Also, the fact that they used to be five and apparently have changed their hours, I don't know. Ryan said that he saw somewhere in there that I did not see hours that were posted that said that they were open till two, but this was inside. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know if they've changed the door since I had been there before. Um, but it may be that their door now does say two, but it used to say five. So that was super confusing and they haven't updated their hours online. So that was really confusing too. And like I said, these hours are not good hours to be operating anyway, but they made it really confusing by not updating when they should have. I mean, I understand now why all the times we went there they were closed, because apparently they changed their hours to two, but they did not update that on the door right away at least. I don't know if they may not have still updated it. And I know it still says five online for a fact. And then also, um, it's good that they make your food fresh but then you have to stand around and wait and they do take a long, long time. I mean, it took forever to make our burgers, forever. And I mean, yes, they were fresh and they were hot and that was great, but I mean, after all the rush to get there and, and, and all these weeks of trying to get this stupid donut burger, waiting and waiting and waiting just sucked. I mean... I really want to be supportive of a local business and the donut burger was delicious and it was great but honestly I will probably never eat a burger there again or anything like that I mean I may go there someday for donuts but I'm not sure I'd go for anything else as a matter of fact while we were waiting for our donuts there were two young ladies that walked in wallet out and everything asked for milkshakes oh we're not making milkshakes today what what? I mean, if it's on your menu, you should be making it every day. Like, don't be silly. So, really good food, really friendly people, but you need to work on your business model, people. I don't know. Like, I hate to be so critical, but it was incredibly frustrating to try this donut burger, and I don't really think I'll be getting burgers or anything like that in the future. So, if you are fortunate enough to get there when they're open and if you feel like eating a donut burger early in the day, then yes, please do try them out because they do make a great donut burger. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you want to see more. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and I'll have the links down below as well as a link to uh, 101 Donuts and Burgers and anything else that might be pertinent. I hope that you're doing well and you have a good day. See you next time.